so welcome to this new lecture as uh, discussed that we will as i have told you earlier that we will discuss the tensile strength of plates but in the previous lecture we have studied the chain bolting and now we will find out the tensile strength of plates in case of a staggered connection okay so let's start so first of all what is a staggered connection let me show you a diagram Uh, here I have shown a um, part joint and you see the pattern of this bolting is not in a straight line it's in a zigzag manner okay so this is a staggered connection or we can say zigzag bolting also so zigzag bolting now what happens here due to this inclined length the okay first of all we go through the conventional formula of the tensile strength of the plate well you see the main thing which uh, dif which differs here with the chain bolting is that the net area the net area only changes all over the formula is same formula previously what was our formula for the for determining the tensile strength that was tdn equals to 0 0.9 an into fu by gamma m1 so the net area only changes here now what what previously the net area was equals to b minus n t0 into t okay and this was for chain bolting right now what happens this uh, for staggered connection we will have a different formula for for the for this uh, determining the effective area net area okay so let's see what's the formula well i have to show you another diagram which is like this see uh, let us suppose a part of a joint and let it be a lap joint okay Okay, so let us consider a staggered joint, staggered connection, staggered bolting arrangement. So we can say that this this length is what? What is this called? And what is this called? If this is the direction of the force applied then what is this distance and what is this distance distance can you remember the difference well since this this distance is parallel to the force applied this will be pitch and this will be gauge because it is perpendicular to the force applied direction of the force applied Okay, so let it be P1 and let it be P2. Okay, this is G1 and G2. Okay, so can you keep the diagram here? Yeah, so you know the formula here is like An equals to B minus ND0. Okay, this was previ previously this component was present here, right? B minus N D zero. This is B, obviously. Okay, this component was already present. Now what happens here? See, if failure takes place, it will not take place in a straight line. Okay, so that we cannot blindly just reduce the this B part and just we will get the net area. That will not be possible, now it will be only possible when the failure will take place along a straight line okay so if if the plate fails here then only one we, we are getting what only one bolt hole here uh, again if it fails here then again we are getting one hole but what happens if we study the failure pattern 
the plate will fail like this okay so as you can see some in we are getting some additional inclined length okay if this would have been in a chain manner this would have been a straight line but since this is inclined path we are getting some additional distance here right okay so <clears throat> let's continue this uh, for now for to account this additional length okay to account for this additional inclined length we have to add some component here right and that component is sigma m i equals to 1 p i square by 4 g i okay so this is the additional component and multiplied by the thickness of the plate okay so this looks complicated but it isn't right since we have a different pitches here different pitch p1 p2 g1 g2 that's why so we will take one by one okay p minus n b0 plus now for p1 distance what will happen p1 square by 4 g1 okay again for this g2 and p2 we will again have to add some component that will be for p2 square by 4 g2 okay so this will be my ultimate net effective area for a staggered connection now what happens if there is if the pitch if p1 equals to p2 equals to dot 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 p n and g1 equals to g2 means the staggered means the staggered connection the staggered bolting is uniform okay it is uniformly placed this it has single pitch and it has a single gauge okay in that case in that case what happens this formula this formula will which will change to p b minus n d0 plus simply p square by 4 g 4 g but uh, into n okay number of holes So this formula will become again clear when we will do a numerical in this, in the, uh, on this um, formula. So let us just write the uh, terms which are included here. This is the net effective area, okay, net on effective area. Effective area, n is the number of holes, bolt holes, and p is the pitch, g is gauge, okay d0 is the diameter of the hole okay t is the thickness of the plate plate and b is the width of the plate so thank you this is all about the tensile strength of plates uh, for staggered connection have a nice day in the next lecture we will discuss about the tensile strength of poles. Okay. So see you soon. Have a nice day.